Hi, this is Freya with another video helping you become the master of your voice. And today I want to give you a really easy exercise to help you access your soft palate. So if you don't know where exactly the soft palate is and how do you raise it, please stay tuned. You may have always heard about, you have to raise your soft palate, you have to open your throat. But how do you do it? What if you just can't really access and you know, how do I move that? That's why I always talk to my students about how to do it. How do you access that? So one really easy exercise is blowing up your cheeks and very carefully punching in like so. Don't let the air come through your lips. Keep them sealed very tightly and really blow those cheeks up. And what you will feel since the air can't come up, come out here through your mouth, through your lips, you, it has to go toward the back of your throat and you feel kind of something going up a little. That is your soft palate. And that is a really good way to kind of get a feeling where's that located and what does that mechanism feel like when it's raised? You can even do that without. Try to do it without punching it in, you know? Try there, start out with your cheeks blown up and then try to do it without. You really have to blow them up as much as you can. What also helps is just kind of suck the air out of your cheeks yourself. One other way to know if you are singing with a raised soft palate or not, if you are too narrow, is just to pinch your nose while you sing and see if your tone changes. So if you do a pitch and you go pinch your nose kind of like that and if it changes as you pinch your nose it means you have a very nasal sound and you don't probably have your soft palate raised. So if you go yeah. See, you see, uh, it's very closed. And you hear that pitch, that tone that changes. But if I keep my soft palate very lifted, keep my throat open, it doesn't change at all. It's like, yeah. Close it, yeah. Open it up. See how that works? So these are two ways you can really try to access your soft palate. And by the way, when you have a stopped up nose, when you have a cold, it shouldn't really affect your singing except for the nasal vowels or the nasal sounds like mm, mm, uh. Or if you sing French, uh, uh. Because on the open vowels, you should have your soft palate raised. Hope the video helped you today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe. I come out with videos every week. And tell a friend who sings. Tell a friend who would love to learn to sing. And follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Join my Facebook group, Master Your Voice. Um, more than 900 people in there right now. I'd love to see you back. Don't forget, always keep a song in your heart. And always keep on singing. Bye.